Country Slaughterhouse, moo! Um, a show. This show. shouldn't be allowed on the freeways. Oh, thank God you're here, Carmen. I didn't know what to say. Well, thankfully, I do. All the time. And it's this. If your kid's riding his bike on the friggin' freeway, then maybe he deserves to be dead. At least for definitely. It shouldn't be on my hands, my time, my commute. Shouldn't have anything to do with me. Look, let me sit down, I say. Ah, there we go. So, I brought in my Lyft driver, Cody. 
because he seems pretty positive. And right now, I think we all need just too much of that positive energy for all of us. I agree, Common. Been agreeing with that my life, bro. Look, I've been a plumber, I've been a janitor, I've been a carpenter, I've been you, bro. Look, all you need, job, car, money, girlfriend, all you need, bro. I put on my changing wine bottles, bro. I'm sure my kid would think whatever you said was cool. <laughs> That's weird, even for me. Yes, that is weird, even for you. I'll say this, though. Once I put my entire net worth into wine bottles, but that's because I had a wine cellar that I was many payments behind on. Oh, whoa, bro. You gotta be careful with that, bro. Look, I can one-up all you guys. I gotta go, bro. Got another guy who needs a ride. See you. Uh, uh, okay. Um, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Oh, I didn't get to say a show to set you straight. Sports yesteryear. I said I'd never do this again, but I've said that about a lot of things a bunch of times. On today's show, from the WWF WWAFT, we've got the 92 heavyweight champion of the world, Professor Clean. Thank you, thank you, but I don't go by Professor Clean anymore. I just go by Matt now. I'm gonna forget you just said that, Professor Clean. No, please don't call me that. I gotta respect your 92 title. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna kill myself later. Oh, hey, come on. Who's this guy? Hey, where'd you get a donut? Well, I got both one. Then, like, on my way here, I ate it. I ate mine, so I just decided to eat yours, too. Well, there's still time to just give it to me. Nope. <clears throat> I'm sorry, down the hatch. I'm going to go. Oh, oh. A piece of poop. Is that you? Oh. Did you would swallow. I almost just died. Professor Clean, what are you doing here? Wait. You two know each other? Piece of poop was my rival in the ring. Whoa, this for real? Unfortunately, it is. Come on. Unfortunately, it is. That's where I got my name. I was a villain in the ring. I'd throw myself onto the mat covered in piss and shit, and Professor Clean would come in with the hose and hose me down until I left. Yeah, it was never really a fight. You and me, a bathroom now. This is for calling my wife a cum slut. Man, oh, I'm so gonna go watch this. That was Sports of Yesteryear, everybody. Full of surprises every single time. Now, here's a word from our sponsor, Doc. I gotta go see this. This is, but think about it this way, a popular segment where we ask you to think hard, to be hard, and then never think about it again. Obviously, we're talking about what took place on Capitol Hill earlier this month that they call the coup, and you know, whatever that means. Except that's not what's important. Think about it this way. You can never expect how it's going to go, you know? Sometimes things happen for a reason that you don't know, that I don't know. Except that I do know, at least about this. It was really all about those trailers in Mississippi, those white beaters with sweat stains from thrift markets. And all of those times where we went mud. This was... This was for the dads. 
because it was about my dad, your dad, all of our dads. It was and shall from here on out be known as the day of the dad for how horrifying it was. That's why the first person who got shot was a woman. She didn't belong there on Capitol Hill. Alright? I don't go to women's marches. So don't show up to my dad's march. I would have been there as a dad if I didn't constantly reject the thought of my real children who avoid me as much as I avoid them. Alright, look. It's not on me if I don't want children. I can decide that at any time. That's my right, as an American, and as a father. We'll be right back, after a word from our sponsor. P.S. Army Hammer, he ain't eating nobody yet. So, uh, I don't see what's a big deal. Final thoughts on today's edition of the Country Slaughterhouse. I just want to reiterate one thing people have been saying about me that is a bold faced lie. A myth. Fake news, if you will. I am not an Olive Garden man, okay? I don't need you to lie to me about those never ending breadsticks, because you know I'm a check that. I'm all about loyalty. Coming back from the ashes, making strides in the name of Greasy Fettuccine. That's right, I'm talking the original Pepe Le Guido. The greatest Italian place in the biz, a real something from the old country. As its non-Italian owner Greg Hoffman will tell me. Oh hey P.O.P, what's going on? What happened in there? You slobber knocking? Who won? No one ever wins, come on. I'm gonna go find a dumpster for the night. Wait, Pew Pew, before you go, give me your take on why the original Pepe Le Guido is the best Italian in the Midwest. Oh yeah, I had a real bad time there related to spaghetti comments, so I'd definitely go there again. That's right you would. That's why they should sponsor us. Just give me a call, Greg. Anyway. P.O.P. I was just thinking, you know how Ric Flair and The Undertaker are always coming back to the ring even after hip replacements? Let's get you back! Cover yourself in poop and then roll around in there again. It'll be like nothing's changed. I mean, not really, right? Oh, oh or I could get MAGA Man. You know, whatever Ohio real estate agent that guy turns out to be. Oh, come on. If you only could know who that guy is. Nobody could ever find out who that guy is. Like no one. Ever. Well, it sounds like you do now. Oh, uh, no, come on. I was born with my kids. I was knit with my grandma. I was skiing with my uncle. I'm swimming in alibis, come on. Well, as much as I'd love to report you for treason, I guess I... Have to take your word for it. But wait a minute. Where were you on the 6th? I remember you saying a couple of weeks ago that it would be a great idea to go to D.C. for a vacation. What? No, Carmen, I hate the nations. Go Sox! First of all, how dare you? The only baseball team that exists in this studio is the Cubs, especially because they won something not long ago. Second off, I remember you calling me from an airport phone saying, 
Thank Jeebus, I found a costume and they couldn't see my face. I took like eight podiums. And I was like, what? And then you went, oh, wrong butt dial. Yeah, come on, man. I got them from a thrift shop and, you know, I just didn't want anyone to know. I would go to the store for furniture. I don't know. Well, I won't press you any further. This is your cowman, signing off. Chill out, Chicago. Mmm, Magman. Mmm, Magman. Oh, uh, I gotta go take my shower at the public pool, you know, before it closes down for good. It's 8 o'clock. Whatever. Have fun. Just let you know, I'm gonna find Magman and bring him to justice myself. Mmm, Magman. Mmm, Magman. Magman speaking.